in the here and now, it's Michelle Ferreira taking on Satomi Takano in the women's atom weight division. This is Rich Franklin's One Warrior Series. And we've seen Michelle Ferreira before. Satomi Takano is a very experienced mixed martial artist. 12 and 11, her record, particularly experienced on the Japanese scene. And she'll have to work hard to avoid Michelle Ferreira's power. Relatively inexperienced, comparatively so. She has a 3-0 record, though. KO'd Nyreen Crowley last right, time ladies. out, and that was impressive stuff, Mitch, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. She came, Nyreen came in for the takedown, and just right. boom, Move starts her with Move the head spine. kick. Beautiful do knockout. And do not grab the rope, understand? Touch glove, back to your corner. So she's got power, Michelle Ferreira. She's also a Judge. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu blue Judge. belt. Judge, time. Ready? That win over Ready. Nyreen Crowley. That gave her her first loss, so she's accomplished a lot already in Rich Franklin's One Warrior Series. Let's see what happens in this one. Goes in the distance quickly is Takano. I don't think it's any secret her game plan. Yeah, not exactly feeding each other out here, are they? No, but look, you know, Takano's doing a great job there of of uh, blocking. She's hand fighting and she's she's using her hands and her thumbs actually to stop Ferreira from getting double underhooks here. It's actually a very technical battle for positioning here. Good job by Ferreira to turn it around. Press Takano up against the cage. Takano's a catch wrestler in Japan, trains with a lot of really good athletes out there. Got some Kitaoka in her corner, I believe. Working knees to thigh and then a little bit higher up there to the rib cage in the midriff. Both of these ladies delivering some really great knees. Jockeying for position there, under hooks. Ferreira is trying desperately to pummel in. And you see again, the wrist control of Takano, she's just not going to have it. There's no way she's going to give up two under hooks. Takano trying to stop the knee there by bringing the right hand down and putting the glove just uh, the web between the throw and coming. Oh. That's what I was looking. There we go. Didn't want to cut you off there, but I was thinking, up. Oh, might be coming. Cut me off whenever you see anything. Please. <laughs> okay. Please. Keep working. Don't hold it. Good job by Takano to end up on top. Let's see what Ferrer's guard's like. She's not really doing a lot. Not only really opening her guard, just keeping everything nice and tight. You can hear. Chonan and Kitaoka screaming to veterans in their own right. Forever working very well to the bottom there with right hand, left hand. So kind of bringing her feet awfully close there, um, but she's definitely trying to get her hips underneath her so that she can posture. This must be tiring for Takano in this position, being pulled down, the legs doing all the work for Takano, just trying to stay on her feet. Oh, nice little transition to an arm bar for her right there, but she gives up kind of a worse position. She kind of missed the head, but Takano did a good job defending it. She kind of saw it coming, so she just slid those legs by and used it as a pass. Now moving into half guard is Takano. Oh, and she has that. She's, she's looking for that head and arm. See, she, she recognizes that position, and she is absolutely looking for a submission. Ferreira's got to be careful not to give up, not, not to let Takano pass. If Takano can work past, right now you can see that Ferreira has one leg, right? She has one leg inside, and now she's losing that leg. And so Takano's going to try to slide over past both legs. And then she, if she can get to the other side, that's where she's going to have the choke that Misha's talking about. Yeah, she's, she's going working on belly. it. And she's trying to get, she wants to get to the right side of Ferreira so she can sink in this chart. Yeah, good job by Ferreira to recognize that and get that hand out of the left side or right side of uh, Takano's head. Ferreira doing a good job blocking here with her legs. She's not allowing for any kind of uh, great solid position. She's not allowing Takano to drop her hips down or take a mounted position. So Takano move, moving into more of a, a high side control position. Improve your position. 100 seconds left in the opening round. There she transitions. Jumps over. Does a good job. I like how she did that too. I mean, she kind of threatened with the hand. She's very. She got a reaction out of Ferreira with the hand, and then once the reaction stopped, she went to full mount. Now she's just left ground and right down. Right and elbows too. She's looking to finish it here. Takano can continue this pace. This pace. There's no way. Well, she's high up in that position. She's sitting right up around the ribcage area. The problem for her is she's got this rope between her and her opponent. So she's, I mean, you'd think perhaps the referee would ask them to reset here. And he does. Yeah. 
which really so kind of disturbs Takano's momentum in a way, but it wasn't easy for her to land the blow she was looking to land with that rope in the way. Let's see if they can re-establish exactly where they were and she can regain that advantage. It and so there's easy. potential armbar here, but Big. losing position, but she still might have it. Armbar attack from bottom. Wow, Ferreira is just she is ragged on her around, but she's looks like she's out, but she's she head scissors right here. Doesn't have the arm. Got the arm bar. Yep. And driving into Sakano again. Good hips by Ferreira. Nice oh, knee up the middle. Knee to the head came back from a long way. Final 20 seconds. Now, if I'm Ferreira's corner, I'm screaming, disengage, get back to your feet, because Takano is a savage on the ground. Here. That was a beautiful little reversal there. She got that single leg turn the corner, put Ferreira on her back. Oh, and she's going to go for that, that phantom choke, Running the long time, flu choke think, here. Though. Keep working. Running out of time. Final 10 seconds of the opening ten round. Seconds. That head securely around the throat, but it's not going to be enough time to work with it, I think as the knee comes up from Takano into the side of Ferreira's head. And my goodness, what a, an action-packed five minutes that was. And they deserve the applause that come from those who are gathered. We're in a studio setting here in Singapore. Very good. Look at this nice throw here. She really baited her into that by kind of pulling on the head and getting her to drive forward. And then she used all that momentum. Then she moves into a mounted position here dropping a flurry of strikes herself, only to be interrupted by the rope. Great transition again here from the arm bar. This was so close. I'm so surprised that Ferreira was able to get out of this, but I'm glad we get to see a second round because this is a great first round. Not, not much chance for them to rest up until then. <laughs> yeah, it's it was a really good first round. Big hello to all our fans out there in Australia watching us. We got Richard Moonnuts in in Melbourne and James Watts out there in Aussie. Brisbane. So big hello, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Aussie. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Yeah, we've got some super Australians on the one championship roster. And there's uh, got a few of them today. A couple got a more few looking to get there. Yeah. Oh, another nice. big push. push kick. Pereira just caught off balance. Swinging now with both arms, but their arm punches. That's the issue for for Ferreira. Again, we've seen this position before. It's going to tire Takano's legs out, but she's got good, strong lower half, hasn't she? Yeah, Ferreira's got decent basics on the ground. You know, she's not. You know, she's kind of making sure she's making big mistakes, but on the ground, Takano's just one step ahead of her, just setting everything up beautifully. Takano definitely seems more polished here, right? She's definitely very comfortable. She seems a step ahead, but. But Ferreira is uh, not by, by no means a slouch here. She's using pure athleticism to yes. get out of these moves. So as the match wears on, she's going to start to tire, and she's not going to be able to explode out of these shots. Trapping those arms there. Pulling down the head is Ferreira. She's just trying to essentially not take any damage and find a clean escape, a clean opening to get out of this position. Ferreira, nice yeah, short the, elbow by Ferreira there. That head right into the ribcage. She won't let go. She doesn't want to give Takano any space with which to work. Nonetheless, she is still working. Left hands and right hands going into the side of her opponent's body. You can see Ferreira starting to think about submissions. Like she's trying to work her guard up a little bit higher, bringing the legs a little higher up on the body. You know, trying to trap one arm, maybe thinking about a triangle. I like the idea of just threatening submissions just so you can create some kind of movement and get off your back. Mitch, these are some of the best punches I've seen from a guard position in a long time. They're actually really powerful. She, she's, she's whipping those into the side of the face of Takano. You don't normally see that. She's got a very powerful short range hook. She's able to generate a little bit of shoulder torque as well just to put a little bit something behind it. Yeah, and now Takano disengaging, standing up, realizing she doesn't want to take any more of those shots from bottom. Beautiful guard transition. You were talking about Takano perhaps being a step ahead on the ground, but there's no question, Ferreira almost relishes the opportunity of being an challenged, arm bar possibility. Here, this, this is deep, this is deep. If she could keep her flat on the back, that's... Oh, so we're gonna try to slam her out. Ferreira's doing a 
great job pressuring in. She's driving down with all her weight, kneeing the face here. She's got to be careful. She's got to decide to be offensive or defensive in this position and loses her balance trying to keep those knees as a threat. More than halfway this through the second round. This may get extended here. Oh, she's going to get extended into the grimacing on the face. Oh, look at the facial expression. It's Remember, so hard. verbal can be a tap as well. This very well could be done. Yes. Oh, she's trying. She doesn't want to quit. She knows oh, she's out of it. And she's spinning. Oh. Oh. Did she move into it? Was that movement? Did well, that she movement was in it, it the work? whole time. I mean, once that went belly down, I was surprised that she wasn't able to get that right then. She tried to jump across, but she just wasn't able to clear the clear the legs on the other side of the head. She, she tries to jump over, right? She tries to jump over, but Takano has such a good grip that she's just that. See, she's trying to get out, but then the thumb comes up, and then that's it. That's a wrap. Beautiful submission victory. Such a competitive contest. Ferreira so incentivized all the way through that to try and give her toughest, toughest effort. But in the end, as Misha said, Takano perhaps Winner. just a, a step ahead each time.